Hey guys, welcome to WatchGuard Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a popular exploit kit exposes hackers. I talk a lot about exploit kits like Metasploit, but there's other exploit kits that legitimate security researchers and pen testers use, such as another popular paid one called Cobalt Strike. Similar to Metasploit, this is an exploit kit that can allow pen testers to actually exploit vulnerabilities as they're auditing their network. However, Cobalt Strike, like Metasploit, is also popular among some sophisticated threat actors, whether they be organized cyber criminals or even nation states. However, an interesting little twist is this particular exploit kit is actually exposing the command and control networks of malicious hackers. Basically, when you use Cobalt Strike to exploit things and you use a web-based command and control channel, uh, Cobalt Strike uses something called Nano HTTPD, a, a web server daemon, to actually run its web server. And it actually suffers from a little vulnerability where the specific specific version of Nano HTTPD that's in Cobalt Strike has a little extra white space within one of its HTTP headers. That means if you know what to look for in a HTTP server's response to your packet, you can tell right away that it's a Cobalt Strike related web server. Fox IT is a security organization that found this and over time they've been using it to kind of unveil the command and control networks and infrastructure of malicious hackers. According to their research, they've found almost 8,000, 7,700 command and control servers that they believe are malicious actors using Cobalt Strike in their attacks. Anyways, uh, I guess the good news for the hackers is this has been patched, so if you have an update version of Nano HTTPD, it fixes this little white space issue. So one of the reasons Fox IT recently went public with this is basically because they can't use this trick anymore. Anyways, I just found it to be an interesting twist that a vulnerability in a hacker tool or a, an exploit kit framework actually helped expose the bad guys rather than exposing weaknesses of the good guys. So very interesting story. And by the way, I don't have a ton of practical tips to go with this other than know that your clients and servers expose a lot of information about you. When you connect to any website with your browser, there's a lot of headers that you're not seeing in the packets that are communicating between you and the server. And often, the details in those headers share a whole lot more about your computer or you than you, you think they might be doing. And that's one reason I really like WatchGuard's Firebox proxies. A number of our proxies actually kind of strip some of the sensitive information in these headers. So if you have a Firebox, make sure you're using proxy server services. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.